Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another exciting episode of Crusader Kings 2 Habsburg Millennium. Is there enough time in anyone's life for two Paradox games? I'm discovering the answer to that question is... No. <laughs> uh -huh. We gotta get our uh, domain down just a teensy bit. Eight holdings is one too many. So what do we want to, what do we want to give away? Oh, that's right, because we're also uh, the Duke of Prussia. <laughs> well, we need, we need to give, you know, some of that land away, I guess. Uh, who are you? Duke of Brandenburg. Well, then, no, we won't. Maybe we won't give some of that land away. Well, we could give Colm away here. You're my vassal. Congratulations, lady. You can get that and lower titles. That should take care of... We lost an advisor there. Well, look at that. Ahem. <clears throat> oh, no, it doesn't look like we did. Uh, pick an ambition. We want... Well, now, the whole reason I kept the Holy Roman title was, of course, to get Provence, finally. And, uh, I'm not sure we're in a position to do that just yet. Maybe we are? We got two coalitions going against the French. So as much fun as it would be to join that coalition, you know, we wouldn't be able to take any lands if we got drug along into a war against France without us, you know, being involved. Without us being involved. Without us being the ones to declare it. Let's use my brain properly today. <clears throat> Where's my capital? In Ulrich. And, well, we could probably do... Oh no. Military organization all the way. And then probably noble customs. That's probably a good idea. Make sure the nobles will like us. Well, not like us, but perhaps not revolt against us. 25,000 men now. I would have thought that would have gone up because the nobles would have liked us, but apparently not so. Can I even declare war if my council is not ready to go? De jour claim on Provence. Yep. No allies. Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. It could happen. It could happen today. Ba, 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 ba. It'll cost us a uh, hundred extra PD. Oh dear. Uh, we've got a Vazid Kazai Belli. We're independent. We hold none of their close relatives hostage. We're not bankrupt. Do it. Let's do it to it. Um, <clears throat> now this whole network of crap. Including French troops in Milan's. That's not good. You two, well, yeah, we'll do that. Um, guess you guys can probably group up here. We don't necessarily need to make these armies so small, come to think of it. Oh, you can come down here too. Uh, we got some Italian holdings, but not much. And it looks like... Most of the French army is down here, but they're at war with someone, aren't they? Other than me. Yeah. They're at war with Genghis. Togo Togo. Togha Toga? I am too early in the morning to begin to pronounce that. Wait a second. You said that they had... Oh, well, no, they did have... Well, 20 now. Still, I feel cheated by the game. I don't feel cheated by the game. That's... It's a bald-faced lie. <clears throat> um, let's kick up speed. 
Don't need to necessarily sit around here on speed one. This isn't Stellaris. Uh, we are... <clears throat> Still gonna have a numerical advantage though, right? We should. We damn well better. Uh, that, well, that's good. I'm glad Daniel the... the... Basilios is doing just fine with us. That's that's lovely. Uh, let's get you guys out the way, because 2,000 men is, you know, worth it. Um, groom and air, I guess. We've got Godzello, so he should be good enough. Increase council power, just take it. Just, just ask. Hey, Emperor, can the council have some more power? As long as it's not a stupid request, I'll probably grant it. Uh, let's see, Duke of Luxembourg, Robin, who's still kicking around. I like that. Let's get rid of these guys, though. Anybody else in here? Anybody else hanging around? Nope. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, that's why I'm getting confused. It's two different provinces. No wonder! <clears throat> yeah. Not much we could have done about that. Alright, let's take you guys and bring you down here. We got some serious doomstack management to do here. Move in. I mean, 8,000 French troops can tangle with 16,000 any day of the week. <clears throat> can I bring them back now? Lose gold. Well, we've got the gold to lose. Let's do it. Jews have been banned from your realm for some time, but strangely, this seems to have had no effect on, the, on many of the malices that were thought responsible for, such as famines and disease. Shocker. By now, most Jews seem to have forgotten or forgiven your offense, and you have decided to welcome them back with open arms. To be clear, it was not my offense. All right, it was a, a family member who'd gone a bit crazy. Yeah. Oh, you wanna you wanna lay siege to Geneva? I don't think so. Well, I mean, you're going to, but we'll get that sorted soon enough. We need a new spy master. So let's see who's important and good in the role. You are Norbert, Duke of Swabia. Protect me from plots. You've been spending countless hours sketching up plans for different building projects when suddenly you realize how you could display your extraordinary architectural skills you will build a grand tower that will dwarf everything in the landscape. Oh, it'll be glorious. I don't know if fighting a war with France is necessarily the best time to begin construction on a 650 ducat gold tower, but okay. Interesting timing choice here, Gunzelin. Let's see if it pays off. Word is spread around the realm regarding your prestigious building project. Most people seem to be impressed with the scale of the plan tower, while others deem it an impossible task. Oh, I'll show those doubters. Haters gonna hate, but my tower's gonna kick ass. Um, let's get you moving down into that general region. And we can take our other army here. Um, Neuchâtel. Well, that is not the army that's being run by the Emperor, I'll tell you that. Uh, head this way. Caspar von Arnsten comes up to you and complains about what hard... Uh, about what hard and tiresome work it is to plan out how to carve the stones for the tower. He therefore asks you for more payment to finish the plan, since he has already used up the first payment. Already? Strangely enough, according to rumor, he seems to have had a lot of time 
to spare chasing after women in the court. You're just using the money on your lusty adventures, Casper. I'm not going to give you another 650 gold this damn quickly. Before the construction of a building this large can begin, we need to make sure we have enough high-quality stone. Your steward suggests importing the stone from a reliable trade partner. Well, it could be beneficial to the region to have access to a nearby quarry. Import the stone! Oh my god. Import it, fine. This is not going to be good for the Empire. Um, Count Rudolf of Bern has recognized the dire financial situation I am in. He sent an offer to buy some land of mine! Uh, no, you're not getting the Duchy of Upper Burgundy for 200 gold. During the construction of your Grand Tower in Yulric, a couple of the workers were killed by falling granite blocks as the ropes holding it snapped. People are now demanding stricter security measures as well as compensation to the families that lost their husbands and fathers in this tragic accident. Uh, they're expendable. <laughs> Why did this have to happen while we're fighting France? Oh. I mean, I guess it's my fault for being like, yeah. We'll do the crazy tower thing. But who would say no? Who would say no? Have we got any French armies up in the north? We don't. Alright, let's start pushing out and seeing if we can find some of their... Oh, well, we got forces down here, that's why. Yeah, we got forces in Italy. All right. We're losing men like crazy. Men that won't come back. Will Nice be big enough to hold 12,000 troops? Yes. Go sit in Nice. With these guys coming our way, I want my armies to stay together. Duke Emmerich is no longer Chancellor for the Kaiser. It's not good. We need a new Chancellor. Um, Widow! The Duke of Saxony will have to take over those duties. And let's take a look at our vassals. Who's got the lowest opinion of me? Uh, Duke Meinhard. Duke Meinhard. You're not Meinhard. Where's Duke Meinhard? Duke of Franconia? No. No, no, no. What? You. Well, that doesn't show me anything. It's not her. It's not me. All right, Baldwin. I have no idea where Mr. Meinhard is. There we go. <clears throat> Why do you hate me so? Desires a bunch of my Polish land. You're not going to get it. But we will improve relations with you. What's the worst that could happen? Go nuts! Oh, for, for a second I was freaking out until I realized I'm in the vassal view. My coffers are empty, but the coffers of my vassals are full. They have an obligation to their liege. You're right, they do. Uh, 250 gold. Come on, Norbert. Help me out. Has approved your request, but he made sure to emphasize that it, this action is a favor to you and that you should remember it. What evs? Uh, Bishop Herman of Belfort approaches you at court, clearly upset. He has seen that the new tower now stretches higher than any temple in the realm. He raises his voice and nearly screams, This is unacceptable! You cannot climb into heaven no matter how much you try! The way to heaven is the, the domain of the church. Get back to your old scriptures, man. I'm building this tower. Uh, telling me Jesus doesn't like it isn't going to make me stop. We're going to be able to fight these Frenchmen off? No! Alright. 
We're halfway done the siege and this sucks, but get in there, men. Oh my god, they're just melting. Young Norbert is developing a demeanor of natural humility. Shouldn't try so hard, man. Well. At least we have the numbers. <clears throat> I write to you with bad news from Ulrich. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have been met with resistance. They're probably a little pissed about the tower. I won't lie. The great tower that you began planning so long ago. It doesn't really feel that long ago, but hey, we got it finished. I'm thinking there was some shoddy construction going on here. That was quick. A tower this tall can be seen from a long way away, and people are equally amazed and frightened by the power you have displayed by accomplishing such a grand feat of construction. During the years of work, you have spent your time perfecting your knowledge in many of the key aspects of the science of construction knowledge that will last centuries. The tower is also sure to hold back many thousands of enemy soldiers. I am truly a professional builder now. Or... There is merely... This is merely a spare time pursuit. I don't know why I wouldn't take architect, so we're an architect now. As he is grow growing older, I can see that Norbert could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas. Intrigue. Uh, knowledge is power others don't need. What a great thing to tell a kid. For too long you have restricted the political influence of your vassals. The time has come to give the council more power. Yeah. I'm fine. You guys could have had all the power you want. Seriously. Your steward comes to you one afternoon. He complains that he has devised a plan. Or explains, not complains. I'm used to them complaining to me. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. Let's organize an expedition. Why not? Now that we got the money, um, we'll have to hire bandits to steal a ship, though. The word is spread that you're planning a trade expedition, and a group of priests have arrived at your court with a request. Uh, I can't really risk them getting in the way. I realize that that is going to make them mighty angry. But, tis true, I can't risk them getting in the way. It is time to set out on the trading expedition. Hopefully it yields good profits and we don't... What the hell? All of a sudden my men started melting away. Well, let's get the other army in. <clears throat> oh, that was a victory. But we have lost quite a few old troopers. So let's take you guys and come back in. And then eventually, Duke Augustine for the Holy Roman Empire. Really? You guys, you vassals are being a whole host of jerks here. I'm trying to make the realm better. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of Chief Oz Ozenqued. Your steward asks what asks you what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship. A dozen strong horses, we can afford that. A chest of cloth, a pouch of rare herbs. My courtesy. We'll give them horses. They'll appreciate those. At dinner, you notice Chief Azinquard of Canary. Oh, we're in the Canaries! Um, I'm still trying to teach this barbarian civilized manners. We like each other, though, and he is powerful, so I'll just play along. Uh, disrespecting culture. Well, you know what? Don't judge. <clears throat> well, despite the disgusting culture, we've reached a mutual understanding. Not really a surprise, considering the wealth and power we would probably be showing up. With the new trade route set up on your return with the first batch... Oh, thank God, money. Ah, <sighs> We don't have any loans to pay off? Oh, good. Your steward has brought in riches to your realm through his competent handling of the trade expedition. He probably expects to be rewarded. Yeah, he can have half the money we made. Over half. I guess it was his idea, but that does seem a little unfair. 
How's Bascon holding out? Not the greatest, especially not compared to Provence here. Why is Norbert... Oh, that's... Okay, good. Yeah, so... Whew, we're still in charge. Nobody can take Argao from us. It's it's our ancestral homeland. It's named Habsburg. We're Habsburg. Nobody can take that. So it looks like we're in a race... In the siege department, we have double the men. We should be sieging faster, and I think, indeed, we are. Mm, Magnus, you're no longer my steward. Did you die? That's not good. Who's strong and wants on the council? Nobody? Good, okay. We will take, um, Duke of Ancona. Collect taxes, please. Thank you. My liege, peasants attacked me while collecting taxes. You just got there. <laughs> what did you do? Shows up. Hey, peasants. Pay or I'll chop your head off. We don't like this guy. Yeah, it's not a surprise. I shouldn't say that. I don't know that he threatened physical violence. Righteous imprisonment against somebody? Well, that's fine. Oh, wait, maybe it isn't. What are you plotting for, the Duchy of Upper Burgundy? I think not, sir. No, no, no. You do not get that. And normally I take the time to talk. But we don't have time to spare for idle chit-chat. We're freaking... Doing the important stuff. Uh, my co-conspirator, Duchess Benedicta. Oh, perfect. A poisonous viper. That <laughs> A lot of people want that man dead. That makes me feel happier about my choice. Uh, we're sitting at negative 10, but that is going to change soon. No, he managed to evade the snake. At least he doesn't know it was me. Uh, there have never been a sh shortage of soldiers, and that is true. There haven't been, so that's good. <clears throat> By calling in a favor, Duke Norbert II has forced you to start a vote on the free inheritance law in the Holy Roman Empire. And it's been approved. Well... Where is that inheritance? That's gotta be it there. Controlled realm inheritance. Fine. You guys want our land going to the French? Our land can go to the French. I mean, you're jerks, though. Godzello says his favorite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. I'll offer to buy him a new one. Guess I'll have to go find it. Either way, he's going to be fussy, but this will make him like me a little bit more. I found the toy Godzello was crying about after going through the trash. And now he's not satisfied because it smells. Well, I'm sorry. Dad's got a lot on his plate right now. Another poisonous viper. Well, if it didn't work the first time, it'll work the second. Can we take Provence, please? Yay, that should be good for the old war score. My daughter, Princess Winfrida, needs to get herself a uh, uh, childhood focus, and she is affectionate, timid, and willful. Uh, so we will go... Why not? A learning education. Go learn about the world, my dear. All right, with that, hold on. The Pope is dead, long live the Pope. Let's head on up to Geneva and see if we can smash into uh, the old French army up there. Success, the snake performed its duty with aplomb and pumped Count Lutbrand full of its deadly venom. Unfortunately, the serpent was caught and the seller revealed my complicity. Okay, so it was some random lady who twice was like, I'll get a poisonous snake, don't worry. 
when she bought them, she told the store, like the snake seller, oh yeah, the emperor's buying this. Why would she do that? That's just... That's silly. Oh, I see the game you're playing, France. Well, we gotta... We gotta get our land back. And then they're gonna start sieging this down. <clears throat> but we should be able to... I mean, we can hack that down. No problem. Head back down here. And hopefully... The French won't, um... Undo our siege. My liege, I wish to intercede personal or on behalf of one of your prisoners. You have prisoners? Um, how about you join him? No, I'll diplomatically explain why I can't. Mainly because uh, money is is what I'm thinking here. And then those guys, I guess we could banish if they had anything worthwhile to take. Dieter, you're banished. Give me your gold. It would have been great if I'd looked at that uh, during the construction of the tower. But I didn't. That's fine. We're, we're back. Not financially, we're better than back. Young Norbert has finished his education in the ways of war and knows with pride that he's attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. Well done, my nephew. Uh, we should find you a warlike wife. Or we should find you a rich and successful wife. Uh, maybe a French duchess, perhaps? Where is Portu? You. Where do you? Way over there. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't want to get a Habsburg there. So... Let's do that. There we go. A hundred for marrying a duchess. But... It's, she's a French duchess. Yep, you've decided to accept the proposal. I'm glad to know that despite the war that's going on between our, our houses, that we're doing just fine. Uh, just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught Count... Heffelrich of Brauschweg and my daughter Benedicta in my daughter. <sighs> well, I don't want to hurt my daughter. So you're young, you're dumb, and now you're preggers. Life lessons learned, I guess. Young Clara has finished her education in diplomacy. Turned out less well than expected. She's she's a bit dull. Um, I'm not going to marry her to my heir. Do we really have no important men? The best we can do are counts? Or barons? Oh dear, that's not good. Okay. Um, well, crap. Surely, surely we must have some kind of an ally. Castile! Oh, well, he's five. Um, there we get. Oh, no, already betrothed. Nine, that is a bit young. I already looked at Lyon. Uh,. I don't think I'm going to look at Aragon. You know. Uh, where else? Venice? Well, that sucks. Uh, Lombardy. Nope. Croatia? This is not good. I guess we could go through all the patricians here and see. Uh, you, family-wise? There we go. Arrange betrothal between you and... Uh, da -da -da. Really? She's not even... Why did I go through all that trouble if she's not even a family member? No. 
That's not a surprise. Okay, well, I mean, if she's not a family member, then... This whole searching was for nothing. And I feel horrible for wasting everyone's time. Send it! Oh, you haven't even had your illegitimate child yet. Okay, well, that's gonna be helpful. At least the Count of Nuremberg can help out with the raising of the kid. Although I'm sure he's not impressed at all with having to do so. But that's okay. Uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll just start sieging down these lands. A new bird has arrived in the Muse and a new book uh, we'll go... Either one is not all that good, but we'll start reading the book. Yes! The poetry book is really inspiring. Give me a quill. Uh, oh, he's blinded. That is sad. Yeah, he was blinded at a young age, wasn't he? Poor kid. That Byzantine Empire, it's a rough place. And, as for the war, things seem to be going pretty well. We're at a stage now where we're just building up war score. Young Winfrida, or Frida, is developing a demeanor of natural humility. Ah, uh, that's as it should be. You're just gonna come back down, are ya? I feel like just fighting their armies is gonna be a better bet than uh, trying to siege down more land, at least for now. How's that looking? 41? Alright, well, we'll kill those two guys. Oh, good! The Italian Liberation in Mantua. That is a very big uprising. We have the men to fight it. I would like to end the war with France first, for obvious reasons. We'll go kill those 84 people and then just slowly watch as to where any more French armies will pop up. But we... <laughs> See, my concern, if I go march over take care of the revolution over here, is that, um... Well, how many men... Yeah... We can probably afford to do this if we do this smartly. There we go. We'll go from Verona because we shouldn't have any river crossing penalties there. Why? To the paranoid clown Gunzelin. What the hell do you want? Breda. You want one county? Fine, it's not even worth my time to engage you. <laughs> we'll sort you out later. Don't you worry, don't think, you Dutch bastard. <laughs> that... is he even Dutch? He is! Good. Oh, we have a history with them. Um, we'll get him back, don't worry. But it's all a matter of what's important. And right now, Breda, not important. One little county up in the north, we can get that back. Easily! Well, this is nice. The French put a nice tiny little army that I can beat down right in my way before going after the revolutionaries. I guess rebels would really be revolutionaries at this stage. Still not a problem. Revolt 
over. Yay! Let's head back over here. Let's also take a look in here and see. You don't have any money. How, how on earth did you expect to have a successful rebellion without money? Alright, so we definitely need to get our war score up there. Mayor Herbert approaches you and presents to you a request to buy a small plot of land. No, I don't need the money. I got 2,000 ducats. I don't need. Why have we got Templars fighting against us? Uh, my mission to Rome has been a success. The Pope likes us. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Are you in a holy war as well, I take it? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course you are. You're in two of them now. Well. That's looking pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm going to leave the episode here for today. So, thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.